Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Look, I'm gonna show you a strategy on how to get more than $80,000 out of Navy Federal with credit cards, okay? Now, I know a lot of people, they're after the $80,000 flagship credit card. However, they're losing out on money and opportunity. Now, let me explain. And I will tell you guys, do not do the product hack until, or product exchange, until you actually follow this process. I promise you, you're going to get more than $80,000, all right? Up to 120, 100 and five, maybe $115,000 in credit cards from the federal, if you follow this here strategy, all right? Now, here's the thing about it. With Navy Federal, all right, many of us understand about their internal score, meaning that you open a checking account, a savings account. If you have bad credit, you do the end rewards, a pledge loan, and I told you all to start adding a CD or money market account, right? So, those are the basics of it. However, what people do not understand, when you're going after Navy Federal credit cards, where you should start, if you starting at the ground level, okay, say with the end rewards. Now, I told you, by the internal score going from 100 up to 450, by adding on multiple accounts, even with a 550 credit score, they may start you at the rewards card, the green card, correct? Now, here's the thing I want you to understand. That credit card goes up to 25,000, right? Now, you also have the rewards card, which is the blue card, then the gold rewards card, then you have the uh, platinum card. Now, here's where people make the mistake. They would apply for the rewards, or they would go from the end rewards, the secured card, over to the rewards card, the green card, right? Now, then they would try to wait about 90 days and go for the flagship card. Do not go for that card. And I'm gonna tell you why, because you're actually hurting yourself. The multiple accounts, one of the accounts that can really hurt your credit score that people don't understand is with the pledge loan. Yes, you should use the pledge loan, but what makes the mistake for a lot of people, they would do the pledge home loan hack and they would do the pay 80, 90% and then they would leave the other 10% out for 12 months, 10 to 20% out for 12 months, right? However, here's the problem with that. What they'll do, they'll end up paying it off sooner than that. And because you, this is a loan on the credit file, it drops your credit score. So you do not want to pay that pledge loan out, all right? You want to keep that on there because that is an account with Navy Federal and it's showing longevity. Navy Federal is all about longevity in a relationship. I just looked at a client's credit file, perfect credit file. 800 he has great income but one thing that he did wrong is when he first joined navy federal assuming that because he had set up direct deposit and he didn't have these other accounts that he was going to get a twenty five thousand dollar credit card because his other credit cards were that high they end up only giving him 500 why because he did not have multiple accounts with them and again, he's just coming in the door, all right? So that's the thing about it. So had he not only just had the direct deposit, but the other accounts, now this may have triggered the internal score to give him a higher limit. I'm just sharing this information with you so you can understand how Navy Federal works. Going back to why you don't want to go for that $80,000 flagship card this is very important like i said you start with the rewards card okay then you build that rewards card say you build that rewards card up to twenty five thousand. then the next card you want to go either go with the gold rewards or i would tell you to go with the platinum card the reason that you want to go with the platinum card because it's your lowest interest bearing card okay especially on balance transfers now you cannot transfer the balance 
of a Navy Federal credit card over to another Navy Federal credit card. You cannot do that. However, you can actually liquidate your Navy Federal credit card with a prepaid card, okay? Some people know about it, some people don't. I have made videos on it in the past, all right? Now, the reason that I'm telling you this, if you go with the Platinum card, because it's the lowest interest bearing, I think it's like 0.99 on balance transfers with no balance transfer fee or whatever, okay? So also with purchases, the lowest on purchases. Using that card for the next 12 months. Now, I understand that 12 months is a long time before you go after that flagship card. But the reason you want to do that so that you won't start paying higher interest on purchases and you're saving more money. That's the reason you want to have that card. Rewards or your gold rewards card for 25000 Now, you have the platinum. So that equals up to 50000 right? Now, what you want to do, and I always tell people this, you want to set up a business checking account with Navy Federal, all right? I don't care if you're in the dog walking business. I don't care. But you should have a business checking account with them. The reason is because they'll give you an extra $25,000 credit card. Now, here's the thing about it. If you're going for a credit card and a loan, then they'll split it up 10 50 10 15 right but if you're just going for the credit card they'll give you a twenty five thousand dollar credit card on the business side now one of the things you have to keep in mind is making sure you stand away from high risk naics codes or they will not open up the checking account the business account okay so what do i mean by high risk uh if you're going to say you're in real estate if you're talking about opening up an ATM type of company, if you're in the marijuana CBD, if you're in credit repair, if you're in restaurant, if you're in trucking, long haul trucking, those are your high risk type of businesses. MLMs, those are your high risk type of businesses. Navy Federal will shut down, okay? They will not accept you, all right? So, that's what you have to understand. It's very important. Now, again, setting up a business with them, setting open up a business account usually takes them about 30 to 60 days, all right? Now, in terms of there, there you do have to have two type of scorings in order to qualify for their business credit card. This is another thing people don't understand. They look at your internal score and they look at your credit score. Now, in reference to your personal credit score, they look at your Experian FICO 9. This is great. The reason is, is because I tell you guys with your uh, FICO 9 scorings, you can have authorized users, and that's another hack I'm gonna tell you in a minute. Authorized users. Also, you can have rental payments. Now, in terms of rental payments, this is what I would tell you. Like some people, they would go out to Boom. Now, here's the thing about it with Boom rental payments. Yes, they report to all three credit bureaus. However, you just have to keep in mind, they only go back two years of history, all right? So you just have to keep that in mind. Then you have like Rental Karma. Now with Rental Karma, they're Equifax and TransUnion reporting, but they go back aging the credit file and aging your credit file is very important. So keep that in mind, but aging your credit file as long as you've been renting and you can show that you've been renting. Now on your credit file, it'll only show like two years of history payment, but the amount of time the account has been open it will show a longer period. So you've been renting from these people for 10 years. They will actually show that it, it the account has been open for 10 years. This is how you actually age the credit file, all right? This is very important because people don't understand about aging and how it really um, can affect you in terms of when you're trying to go get funding, all right? So that's the reason that's important. Going back to this two, uh, two tier, scoring when you opening up the business bank account like i said with navy federal you have your internal score which goes from 100 to 450 
then you have your credit score. Your average credit score, usually they will work with you if you're about a 670, 680 credit score. Now, in terms of does deposits make a difference? I always tell people you want to make sure you're doing weekly deposits, even if it's $25 a week. Once that business account is open, do the weekly deposits. It really makes the difference. Now, one thing when looking at building business credit on the business side with Navy Federal, they do not report to the business credit bureaus, okay? So that's the downfall of that, all right? So that's the reason I would tell people you do not want to make Navy Federal your primary business card, all right? But going back to the point about the 80,000 getting more than 80,000 in credit card funding from Navy Federal, again, is you can get a $25,000 business credit card. Now you have the rewards or the gold rewards for 25 plus the platinum for 20. That's 75,000, right? Now, because that $25,000 business credit card doesn't show up on your personal credit file, does not report on your personal credit file. You can go back, then you can apply for the flagship card as well. So now that you have 25 on that rewards or gold rewards and that platinum, then you can apply for another 25,000 on the flagship. Now here's where the 80,000, again, I keep on telling people that Navy Federal will not give you over that 80,000 period. So what they'll do, they'll move all of your money from these other cards over to the flagship to make equivalent to that 80,000. I would not go for the flagship until I have these other cards open so that may, way you're able to get more than just that 80,000. And a lot of people are not even aware of this. Now, I was telling you about a hack. Couple things that you can do. Say that you have bad credit. Uh, you can also, if you have a, a family member, a loved one, they can add you onto their checking account. So that way it can look like you have multiple checking accounts. They can add you on to their Navy Federal credit cards. Now, here's the thing about it with the authorized users, adding somebody on as authorized user, because we offer authorized users, but they're aged authorized user. If somebody just got approved for a Navy Federal credit card, okay, now in terms of the aging and things of that nature, that in itself will just show up as a new account but it's not going to influence the credit score. You need an older age Navy Federal. In terms of internally, will it show that you have uh, help with multiple accounts or whatever? Yes, it does help because you'll have the checking account. Again, you having a checking account, you add it on to somebody's checking account, you uh, adding the savings account, the direct deposit. Now, for those of you that are in the gig economy, again, if you don't have direct deposit, click the link in the description because we actually can set up your account so that you can have direct deposit with Navy Federal. All right. This is why I continue to tell people there's more to Navy Federal than you think. And they're trying to scratch their head. Well, how come people keep on getting this uh, uh, 25,000 with a 580 credit score is because they have multiple accounts with Navy Federal and they have this history. So the biggest thing that you can have that will help create the longevity of history is when you open up a, mar a money market account or a CD, okay? And so like they have some CDs like, like $50 or whatever, but you're showing long-term investment. That's the reason. Now, for those of you that may have questions on business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.